What does a silhouette mean? Uh, it's, a, it's a silhouette of a person uh, that's used at a, at a gun range. Okay, and Exhibit 181, can you tell the jury what that is? Yes, so this is geolocation information for uh, the Gmail account for James Crumbly, um, and for, I believe he is in green on this, uh, and then the purple dots would be Jennifer Crumbly, meaning on July 25th, 2021, both Jennifer and James Crumbly were at the firearms range in Clarkston, uh, Michigan. Okay. I'm drawing your attention to August 15th, uh, Exhibit 183. This is a receipt. What is it for? This is dated August 15th, 2021. Uh, the receipt has a range, uh, range fee of $20 again. Um, I believe that's... Four, so it'll be 200 rounds of 22 caliber ammunition and one small silhouette, again, a silhouette of a person uh, target. And 184, what is this? This is uh, James Crumley's uh, Gmail uh, geolocation information showing he was at the Clarkston gun range at that time. Okay. And you were here for Ed Wagrowski's testimony, correct? Yes. All right. Did you see the video that the shooter sent to his friend in August of 2021? I did. All right. I'm going to um, put 70 and 71 up on the um, screen. That's one slide. Um, first, what, what, are you, what are we looking at? So this is the first video filmed by uh, the defendant's son on August 19th, around 9.30 p.m. that was sent to his uh, friend. All right, and what, what time was it? It was 9.31 p.m. Okay, and can you see that video? Stop okay, I'm stopping. Uh, Mr. Peace is stopping at what? What are we looking at? So this is uh, the defendant's son holding the Keltec P17 pistol. Uh, it doesn't appear to have a magazine inserted. Didn't appear to have a round in the chamber. Uh, the safety was, you know, again, red means dead. The safety was uh, not engaged. Okay. Can we continue? All right. Can you tell, based on, uh, I should probably lay a better foundation, were you ever inside the Crumbly home? Yes. When were you there? Uh, on the night of November 30th, 2021, the night of the shooting, we uh, executed the search warrant there. Okay, so you were there during the search? Yes. Okay. Do you recognize anything in that video that signifies where the shooter was? I do, but not from being in the, the residence. It was from other um, cell phone extractions from, I believe, Mrs. Crumbly and Mr. Crumbly's phones. I believe they changed couches in that, that living room at some point. It was, an old, it was a black leather couch that I recognized being in the living room. Okay. All right. Um, exhibit 72 and 73. The, the, they've both been previously um, admitted. Can you tell the jury what this is? This is uh, the video that I believe Detective Wabrowski um, had testified to previously. It was uh, sent to the de uh, defendant's son's friend by the defendant's son on August 20th at 1230 in the morning. All right. And was there a, a text that accompanied this right after or before the video was sent? Yes. It was around the time that the, the video was sent. I believe it said, um, my dad left it out, so I thought, why not? LOL. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I don't know if that's the exact text, but that's the general idea. Is that the text? Yes, that's it. Okay. And um, we're going to play the video, which has been previously um, admitted. And before we do, can you tell the jury what they're about to see? Sure. So the, def uh, the defendant's son has the uh, Caltech P-17 pistol in his hand. This, again, the safety is not engaged. Um, he slams the firearm down on top of the magazine, loads the magazine, and then charges, sends the slide forward, chambering around into the firearm. Uh, meaning that if he pulled the trigger at that moment, it would go off. Okay. All right. Um, what do you see in that picture besides the Caltech? Here's to be a, a cat. And based on your investigation, do you do you know about that cat? I believe that's uh, the shooter's cat, uh, Dexter. All right. And what what surface is that? Can you tell? Yes. So after being in the home for the, the search warrant, uh, I'm aware that that is their, 
their, their kitchen really didn't have a kitchen area. It was more their, their living room or dining room table, so to speak. It was a, a higher kind of four-top table. Um, that is the same wood grain that's on the, the table in their dining room. All right, and we we know this this was taken at 12.30 a.m., is that what you said? I believe it was sent at 12.30, but I think it was, it was taken relatively close to that time. Okay. Um, do you hear anything else in the background? I, I, all I heard was crickets and then the sound of the, the magazine and then the slide going forward. Okay, and we've previously introduced the GPS data um, that shows whether or not James Crumbly was in the home during this time. Was he? He was. Okay. Um, okay. Can you the thing? All right, if just want to talk to me about this video, uh, Special Agent Brandon, and, um, and, and what your view is on the safe, the, the, whether or not what was happening in that video was safe. So I, I would say that regardless if Mr. Crumley was standing over his shoulder or not, or not, that would not be safe. The firearm is on top of a, a dining room table. It's, it's loaded the safeties off, uh, and it's pointed in a direction that if you're inside their home, you can't tell from the video whether he's facing... Uh, the front of the home or the side of the home, but regardless, the firearms pointed in a direction that would be almost chest level if a person was beyond the walls of the house or if, if a person was standing nearby. Um, not to mention almost, you know, uh, pointing the firearm at the cat. All right. That's the magazine. Can you tell if it's loaded or not? Yes, that magazine there, you can see the, round of, the rounds of ammunition um, in the firearm. All right. And um, you said, did, could you see whether there was a round in the chamber? Uh, I don't believe there was until he loaded the magazine and then sent the slide forward or else it was uh, malfunctioning. Okay, where's he loading? That's loading the magazine. Is that the, that's the safety? Yep, so the safety's not engaged and the round is, uh, yep, the top of the magazine is visible there and if once he sends that slide forward, that's what takes that round and puts it into the chamber. Okay. What if that was being supervised by somebody like James? Would it change your opinion of the safety of that? Action. No, so based on what we spoke about before being the four rules of uh, firearm safety, so um, obviously that firearm is loaded, so treat every firearm like it's loaded. So point it in a safe direction, so there's really no safe direction for that firearm to be if it's chest level on a table. The only safe position would be whether it was outside or pointed at the floor. Um, you know, obviously if you're loading a firearm to carry on your person, you know, you point it at the floor where it's away from people so it can't hurt you when it can discharge. Okay. I want to draw your attention to um, September 1st. Did the defendant, um, did James and his take his son to the, the shooting range on that day? Your Honor, yeah. I'm just going to ask for clarification. September 1st of what year? 2021. The weapons weren't purchased until June 2021 um, and November 2021. Yes, I believe that's correct, yes. All right. And um, Exhibit 185, what is that? It says, uh, it's a Facebook message from James Crumley to Jennifer Crumley, and it says, uh, the shooter and I are headed to the gun range. And Exhibit 186 and 187. Those are uh, receipts from the gun range in Clarkston, in both in James Crumbly's name. The one on the left is for uh, range time. Uh, it's like 200 rounds of 22 caliber ammunition, um, two silhouette targets, and then a rental of a uh, 22 caliber revolver. And then on the right hand side is uh, one 50 round box of 22 caliber ammunition. Did there James take a video of his son that day? Yes. And how do you know? Uh, it was located on, I located on James Crumley's phone. And that's exhibit 188? Yes. All right, we're going to play that. September 25th of 2021, did you come to learn that James took his, his son to the range on that day? Yes. And this is Exhibit 189. What's that receipt for? Uh, so it's a receipt again, and the name's James Robert Crumbly. It's got uh, a range 
range fee, uh, a rental of a, um, a 9 millimeter pistol, a 9 millimeter ammunition, 22 caliber ammunition, as well as a torso, uh, black torso target, it says. 